So we have updated our REST controller with the new method verify email token and we have added a get map into it so that this method can be handled when it receives HTTP GET request with the token. Now this method will need to call verify email token function in the user service and we don't have it yet so let's implement it. So I will need to open my service package first and open the user service interface and add this method here and this method will accept a string value which is going to be a token and it will need to return a boolean like this whether the email token was successfully verified or the verification has failed now i'll save this i'll close this file and i'll go to implementation of this interface now user service implementation and I will add an implemented methods. Okay, and the method should be added at the bottom here. We have verify email token. And just like with the REST controller, I have already prepared a little code snippet so that it doesn't take me much typing. I'll paste it here. So this method verify email token will need to return a boolean value. It can be false or it can be true if email verification was successful. What we will need to do with this token that we received as a method argument is we will need to query our database and see if this token is in the database. And if yes, then we will need to get that uh, user's record. So we will also need to update the user repository by adding a new find user by email verification token. So this function doesn't exist yet. We will need to add it. This is why it is underlined. So it will take the token, it will query the user record, and if a record is found with a token like this, then most likely verification is successful, we will just need to double check it. So we will check if user entity is not now, and then if user is not now, we will then use the utility function, which we also don't have yet, we will call it has token expired. So that function will take the token and then it will check the expired date. And if token has expired, the verification will be false. But if the token has not expired, we will then take this user entity object and set this email verification token to null. We will delete it. And the next field inside of the user entity object that we'll update is email verification status. We will change it from false to true. By default, the email verification status field inside of the user entity class is set to false. So we will set it to true because we do have the token in the database and this token has not expired. And then we will use user repository to save this record in a database and update return value from false to true. And this is it. Once the record is saved, we will no longer have a record in our database that has this token and email verification value set as false. If user attempts to click on this link again and verify email token will be called again, the find user by email verification token will not be able to return the user entity because there is no such token in the database we have erased it. Okay, so now let's save this function and next steps will be to add the find user by email verification token function into our user repository and then go to utility class and add one more method there that checks the token expiration date. So let's do that. 